Good day everyone, this is Mom Tess and welcome to Enhanced English Experience. This channel is made for learners and adults who wish to enhance their English knowledge and skills. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Our video lesson for today is based on the most essential learning competencies in grade 7 English for quarter 2, week 2. And the most essential learning competency is use an electronic search engine to locate specific resources. Are you familiar with an engine? Do you know its function? A car engine is important because it converts gasoline into motion so that the car can move. In the same way, in searching the net, electronic search engine is needed to start the research process. There are different search engines that we usually use. Can you identify some of them? Let's see. Do you know what search engine is represented by this icon? Very good! This is YouTube. How about this one? Yes, right! This is Google. And this third one is... Great! This is Yahoo. That's awesome! You have identified the most commonly used search engines. Now, let us check first your prior knowledge about search engines. And you have to identify if they are true or false. Are you ready? First one is... An online search engine is similar to a web page. Is this true or false? This is... Fabulous! This is false! We need online search engines to lead us to sources in the internet. Is this true or false? Good! The answer is true. A search engine may still work even without the internet. What do you think? Nice one! It is false. A search engine will not work without the internet. A website is another term for a search engine. Is this true or false? Very good! It is false. Last statement is, Search engines make our access to the information we need possible. Is this true or false? Correct! This is true! Now that you have already prior knowledge about the lesson, let us talk about it deeper. So what are search engines? Search engine is a program that searches for words or phrases in documents most often in articles, web pages, and published materials in the internet. It is used mainly for finding particular sites on the World Wide Web. It is also similar to a library in an online setting because it gives access to millions of domain names that store vast amounts of information. There are three common types of search engines. Do you know what they are? The first one the general search engines. They are wide-ranging search engines capable of searching millions upon millions of sites for specific information. Some of the common examples of Ask.com, Yahoo, and Google. is a widely used search engine accepting plain English questions or phrases or terms. While Yahoo is one of the internet's leading search engines, it is also the largest web portal providing links to thousands of other websites. And Google is a popular internet search engine. It scans the web to find web pages that are relevant to the words you have typed in the search box. The 
second type of search engines are the meta search engines. They work by using other search engines to find the needed information. Example Blingo, Dogpile, and Metacrawler. Blingo is a search database like Google, but with less information. While Dogpile is a meta search engine for information on the World Wide Web that fetches results from Google, Yahoo, and other popular search engines including those from audio and video content providers. And Metacrawler, now known as Zoo.com, is a meta search engine originally developed in 1994 at the University of Washington by Eric Solberg and Professor Oren Etzion. It provided users with the option to search news, videos, images, white pages, and yellow pages. Third common type of search engines are the specific search engines. They are much smaller and more specific type and are designed more specifically for certain user needs. Or Academic Search, LexisNexis, and Jester. Academic search engines aim to combine the convenience and power of web page search engines with the rigor of peer reviewed scholar resources. LexisNexis is a part of the RELX Corporation that sells data analytics products and various databases that are accessed through online portals, including portals for computer-assisted legal research, newspaper search, and consumer information. Jester, on the other hand, is a digital library founded in 1995. It now encompasses books and other primary sources as well as current issues of journals in the humanities and social sciences. Which of the given search engines have you tried to use? Now that you know what search engines are, here are in using search engines is turn on the computer. Next is make sure the device or computer is connected to the internet. The third is click on the application Google Chrome. The fourth is type the word for which you want to search. Make sure you do not use quotation marks. The last is, click on the topic you're interested in, and the pile will open. Regardless of what type of search engine you decide to use, like Wikipedia, YouTube, Bing, Yahoo, and Google, you will always find a vast selection of resources most users would usually prefer using one search engine before all others, and you may decide to just do the same. It is essential, however, to note that in order for you to maximize the efficiency of your use of search engines, there are strategies that may be used to help you find the most relevant results. This also saves time and ensure that you only get the data that you actually need. These strategies include knowing the proper keywords to be used in the search, addition of keys that can prompt the search engine helps in limiting search results. And that is our lesson all about using search engines. Hope you learned something in this video lesson and hope to see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.